April is National Autism Awareness Month. The prevalence of autism has gone from one in 2,000 children in the 70s to one in 68 today. In the last 10 years, over a billion dollars have been spent to study the disease, yet no significant answers have been produced that address the, cure and ca the cause and cure. I understand that for parents and family of an autistic child, caring for someone who will most likely never be able to live independently could actually be a gift in many ways. But what about the child? Does someone with a brain disorder have the potential to grow spiritually, to work on themselves, to find meaning in a higher life? In one of your recent talks, you said, God gave no one any better gifts than he gave another. I would be grateful for any light you can shed on this. Here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. But what about the child? Does someone with a brain disorder have the potential to grow spiritually, to work on themselves, to find meaning and a higher life? You see, when you hear a question like that, it makes perfect sense to you. Do you think that real love, real love, takes into account someone else's potential? Do you? Do you think that, that, that my concern for your potential is the proof of my love for you? Love doesn't compare. Now, I'm speaking in very high ideals right now, so don't judge yourself if you're listening to this or wrote this and you think, uh, we're talking about what is the nature of this concern that I have over, A, the spreading of, the, of this autism, which could be connected to anything from diet to pollution to God only knows what, and it also be connected to things that your mind can't even begin to consider yet, having to do with certain magnetics that takes place on the planet relative to the rest of the cosmos and what it attracts to itself in order to support itself and do what it needs to do. Your mind always takes the smallest thing because it always comes from the smallest part of you. You take a big question, a really big question, and you'll dissolve into it. You take a small question and you will build a mountain out of it for yourself. The child is going to be what the child is going to be. And if you love the child, you will take care of the child with all that you can. But you won't look at the child and measure the child according to a standard that has been produced in you that has produced suffering for as long as you've been alive. And also an immense amount of this is connected to the fact that the reason I don't want you to suffer is because I don't particularly want to have to go through this the rest of my existence. So it seems to be something born out of love when it, in truth there's often great selfishness behind it. Because I'm going to have to bear this for the rest of my life. But if you could live up to your potential, I won't have to. Again, we're talking about what it is that what, what we're after as human beings. We want to know uh, the love of Christ. We want to know the love that, that looks on good and evil alike. Another kind of order within ourselves in which there is none of the comparison that constantly produces this conflict between myself and my responsibility to somebody. If I have an autistic child, if I have a, a son or a daughter or my mother or father or drunks or they're disabled or some way or another dysfunctional, it isn't my responsibility to see that they live up to their potential. My responsibility is to live up to my potential as fully as I possibly can. And I can never know it as long as I'm putting ahead of my own work and awareness of you what I believe you should be. Because then I hold you responsible for the way I feel and then I call the actions I take from my feelings the proper way to deal with you. You have so many more things to be concerned with. And if you do happen to have an autistic child or you have a relationship with one in any way whatsoever, Let the child be the child that it is. Do you love a child more because it has a disability? 
Do you? Do you love a child less because it has a disability? And the fact of the matter is, at this level, we don't really know the answer to that. I give special dispensation to you because you seem to have this quality that nobody understands. These are things you have to work out. But I can tell you, you need to ask bigger questions of yourself and demand more inwardly in order to reach a proper resolution to it.